Hello everyone, we're getting ready to start planning out our level in our shooter series and I wanted to share with you all this level planning website I found. So it's called DungeonScrawl.com, completely free to use and it's really powerful. So it's got a bunch of different features, you can scroll through here and take a look, but look at some of these examples. These people made this with this. It's completely free. I mean there is a paid version where it has some extra features but you, for free you can get done with whatever you need. So if you come to the website you can click to start scrolling right here. It's mainly for like tabletop games I think but I mean level planning is level planning. And having a good way of actually planning out before you get into the building phase can save you a lot of time. So if you click that you will come into this site and you can click create new and then it's just as simple as drag and drop essentially and you can start planning out rooms, hallways, all kinds of stuff. So, It also works on a grid size feature. Uh, so as you can see when I drag, it gives me a, it says 10 by 6.5, 10 by 7 now. So it can help you plan out for when you jump into Unreal. Because if, here I am in Unreal, then we can set our snapping sizes to kind of recreate that so we can kind of get a sense in engine how it'll look so for instance that room was 10 by 7 so if I drag out this level prototyping cube and see with it set to snapping at 100 it goes to this grid with the scaling to 1 we can go let's see it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's essentially what a 10 by 7 would look like. If you built it in the map and then wanted to convert it into here. But you can do all kinds of stuff with this app. So left click, drags, and you can go over here and click erase if you want to get rid of something. Precious. Thank you, madam. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they just came back in and she's cleaning her paws. Uh, but you can go back to draw right here. It has a snapping option, so it doesn't really affect anything for the cube. But if you go to this path tool, you can create more natural cavernous kind of looking. Let me just... Or you can erase with this path and uh, let's say you want some cliff walls coming into this room like that. You can add a lot of personality to your levels. Also on the draw mode there's this roughness option and if you click it instead of having just these smooth walls like that carve out the area you want and then when you let go it'll give you this line you pull on it and it'll kind of roughen up those give it a more natural cavernous kind of look so if I turn that back off then I can just connect this like that it also works on a layer system so let's say after here I wanted a pathway that's going to go over a waterfall or a, a, a lake, I guess, not a waterfall. But <laughs> if we right click and hit duplicate on this layer, then we can erase everything on that layer. And if you click that little eye, you'll see. But with the layer selected, we can then draw. The reason I duplicate is because I'm not quite sure how to set up all this just yet. I'm still kind of dabbling with it. But we can go back to this. Bump up our radius, somewhere around there looks good. I'm going to turn that roughness back on for this one. And then draw out where I want that body of water to be. And then give it some cliff walls. We can set the color of the floor right here, or the walls. So now it's water. And we can affect the layers of it to see which one renders first. We just send this one to the back, and now that path goes over a body of water. So you can do all kinds of things with it. Uh, they got different options down here where you can drag in images. 
I think that's what that one is. Object tool. Oh, it's a, okay, I'll show you that in a second. We've got that rectangle tool, which is the one we used. Like that. This one's cool. It's a polygon tool. And you can even affect how many sides the polygon itself has. Make it a lot easier to do rounded rooms. Over here under the images they have all kinds of different things that you can use to help decorate your rooms. So let's say this is the entryway. So we'll say that's the stairs coming in I guess just as an example. We can click that and there's a doorway where we can mark where we want doors. Now if you rotate it without the snapping on you can rotate freely or you can turn the snapping on and it bumps in increments. You can resize things. They have all kinds of things for you to use. Uh, let's say there's some barrels over here in the corner and some bones. The last adventures didn't do well. <laughs> And they, look, they got all kinds of things. You can use it to play in key events. What I would usually do is I would like set a number of where I wanted objectives. So there's a key right here for a door right here. This is just an example, you know. And then I can mark what door and what key like that. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do with this. Uh, the limit is really just your imagination, but it was, I just wanted to share this. And the next one will actually uh, take our level and build it inside of Unreal. So for now, go nuts, build it up, decorate it out how you want, and then we'll go more in depth about how to do level building inside of Unreal in the next one. So I'll see y'all there. Bye.